Okay guys, it's Stephanie and I'm here to finally talk about Harvest Home by Thomas Tryon. I feel like I've talked about this book a lot on my channel, but I'm finally here to tell you what I think of it because I finally finished it. I finished it uh, during genre -thon. I body read most of it with Hannah over at Craving Books and it was really good. I liked it. Um, basically what the book is about, it's about the Constantine family. It's Ned, his wife Beth, and their teenage daughter Kate. And Ned quits his job in marketing in the city and wants to get a house in the country so he can focus on his art full time. He's a painter. His family finds the quaint little town of Cornwall Coombe in Connecticut. It seems to be really out of the way and in the middle of nowhere. So the Constantine clan is very quick to fall in love with the quaint little charm of this agrarian town. Um, upon moving in though, Ned finds a tombstone near his house with the name Grace Everdeen and he starts asking around and he becomes a little wary when no one will give him a straight answer. Um, there's a lot of conflicting accounts about what happened to her. The only thing that people really seem to agree on is that she did a bad thing and most people seem to give off the vibe that they're glad that she's dead and that she deserved to die. And so Nate starts to wonder if maybe the cute little town he brought his family to has a bit of a dark side. So there was a lot I liked about this book. I thought it had good writing. I thought the book for being over 40 years old had aged well. And I thought the author did a really good job of portraying the charm of the town. Because I mean, I went into this obviously knowing it was a horror novel and obviously knowing that nothing was as cute as it seemed. But I still found myself going like, oh, that's cute. It's a cute little town. And it almost gave off a, a Stars Hollow-esque feel to it as I was reading it. Like I really thought this was an adorable little town and they had little quilting circles. And what could possibly be wrong with a town that has quilting circles, you know? Um, I also thought this book had a great ending and endings are so important. Obviously that sounds like a very dumb statement. Like obviously endings are important. Um, but they just hold so much weight. Like if a book is good up until the ending and the ending is disappointing, you know, I just forget immediately how much I enjoyed the book up until that point. But I thought this had a great ending. It left me pretty happy. I would say my only criticism of the novel was that it was a bit slow and it had about three quarters of the book was built up for the last quarter. So everything that's crazy, everything plot wise really doesn't happen until the last quarter of the book. And just with these stories, the protagonist, I feel like is usually just dumb and is very blind to a lot of very obvious red flags. Um, but again, I just feel like that's something that goes along with books that have this kind of a plot and these kind of stories. And this book did get adapted into a mini series called The Dark Secrets of Harvest Home starring Betty Davis. I'll link the trailer down below. Um, warning that there are some spoilers in the trailer, so if you want to go into this book basically just knowing what I told you or totally blind, don't watch the trailer. Though I have to say, if you're a fan of horror movies at all and you've seen a couple of them, you will probably guess what the dark secret of Harvest Home is. So that being said, I really liked this book. 70s horror definitely gets some thumbs up for me. I will definitely be checking some more out. I just finished reading Hell House by Richard Matheson with Maddie Hatter. And I plan on reading The Other, which is Thomas Tryon's most popular work, so I do plan on checking that out. But if you have any more recommendations for horror novels, I would be more than happy to hear them. And again, thanks for watching. Hope to see you again soon.